Hi, I'm Pam Akins, Community Engagement Specialist, with an update on admin options in the new ALA Connect. Now, before we go into today's update, I wanted to mention and thank the Public Awareness Office for posting the press release this week about the new ALA Connect project. I also wanted to remind everyone that today's the last day that you'll be able to log in to ALA Connect as the gray out will be in effect this evening. With the new system of branded spaces for divisions and roundtables conveyed in the last message, you might be asking yourself, who and how will all this be managed? Now there are two levels of admin in the new ALA Connect, community or group admins and the unit level admin. The community or group admins will conduct tasks similar to how the current Connect works. Special training tracks, videos, and documentation are being set up during the gray out to equip admin with the rights and the know-how so that way they can post announcements on the group homepage, post links to Google Docs or other collaborative tools or chat sessions on the community home as well as tweak their Connect homepage as needed where the mission and other information is posted assist users in organizing files uploaded within the site's repositories, and much more as we roll out in future phases and deploy new modules. Unit-level admins can handle site-level tasks managed typically, but not necessarily, by the web manager, executive director, or staff liaison, depending on the unit preference. The unit-level admin can add, change slide deck slides, tweak the home page background color to match the logo, and work with IT to leverage system features for their members. Thanks again for your continued attention. Stay tuned for the next update in this series, Navigation in the new ALA Connect.